Hello, the most important question nowadays is how to get hired. In fact, this is the most challenging time and let's not waste further and get started. To get hired in today's job market, you need all the criteria listed for the position. Your skills, experience must corroborate this. Not too long ago, a university degree alone could be enough to secure a good job. Now, as a graduate, you may also need to have done work experience, internships, projects, voluntary works and maybe graduate programs. The number of applications received for any promising job is very very high nowadays, maybe in hundreds. Only a select few get invited for an interview. Of these, only one person gets hired. Put simply, to be hired, you need to stand out as the best candidate for the job. Let's get into the top 10 tips on how to get that job offer. And let's straight away get into the first one. Network. Developing a strong network is a key strategy for securing a job. There are many ways of expanding who you know. Using any of these increases your chance of getting hired. Private networking. Speak with family, friends, any social gathering that you're going to find out opportunities or connection let them know that what you are doing professional networking attend events set up by key organizations relevant to your job search these might be advertised at your university or at the company wherever you are an intern just take a note of it career events attend job fairs or career events for graduates socializing the bottom line Going out with a group of people in the same sector is a great way to meet influential people. Managers, team leads, floor managers, anybody, HRs, executives, go and meet them and socialize. Exchange your numbers and you know, get started. Online networking, actively engage with key organizations or industry professionals on social network. Make intelligent contributions to debate and discuss topic. And the ideal platform here I would definitely state is either Linden or Quora. In a networking situation, you should prepare your elevator pitch and introduce yourself clearly and confidently. Arrange meetups with an old or a new connection. Build a relationship by being authentic about your needs. Ask for advice. Maintain your network by making a list of key people you know. Make time to follow up with them. Maybe a fortnight is good enough. Number two, social media. Social media is widely used for job searching. Linden, then you have Facebook, then you have uh, Instagrams and all very majorly you know, highlighted. So make use of them. The Society for Human Resource Management, a North American accreditation body by HR professionals found that 77% of surveyed organizations use social media for recruitment and sourcing of job candidates. Their primary tool for this was Linden. More recently, a 2018 survey says 2,300 organizations conducted by Career Builder found that more than half of companies were less likely to recruit someone who didn't have any online presence. Make that as an underlining statement. They were also less likely to hire someone with questionable content online. Promoting your online presence adds to your brand. Brand image, your social media presence is a critical part of securing a job. Think before you post text, images or videos, it is your image. Always consider that you are saying and how it could be perceived by the audiences. The language you use says much about your attention to detail, grammar, communication skills, etc. Use career platforms like Linden to showcase your skills and knowledge. Always make sure your profile which includes your qualifications and experience is accurate and most important authentic avoid discriminatory or inappropriate comments or content bullying confidential post or even negative post about old employers or your colleague it might be taken otherwise be careful about publicly discussing sensitive topical issues for example religion consider the screen names you use and your email addresses. Sonu, Sweetu, <laughs> not advisable. Keep everything professional and straightforward. Number three, research. Research the company before you get the interview call. 
As soon as you get the interview call, rather, it is a critical part of your preparation. You should also thoroughly understand the job role for yourself. Visit the organization website to understand who they are and what they do. Failing to understand the organization and the job role is cited as one of the biggest, biggest reasons why employers reject candidates. Check the company website and general news sites for any relevant updates. Read over the company website, in particular the About Us section, or a mission statement, news and media press releases, organizational culture and key staff members. Have a good understanding of what they do, their market competitors and partners. They will help you answer the question, why do you want to work here? Know about the company's current strengths and weaknesses and how it compares to competitors. Check its social media presence on all platforms. Check the online presence of key staff members, the CEO, directors, managers, etc. And maybe interviewers, also the HR staff. If you know their names, nothing like it. Read over the reviews on sites such as Glassdoor or LinkedIn. Important. These reviews can give useful tips on the recruitment processes. Use your network to learn about the company. Understand the job description and expectations. Understand any unfamiliar terminology you need to clarify further when invited to an interview contact HR or a recruiter to find out as much specific information as you can to help you prepare the type of interview how many interviews and interviewers names as well review online discussion boards or forums that discuss similar positions number four tailor your application and interview answers Many job seekers think that more CVs you send out, the better your chance of getting hired. But if you are sending the exact same CV to multiple jobs, that reduces the quality of each application and may not give you an interview call at all. No two positions are the same. So your CV should be exactly a reflection of the job description assigned to you. So read and understand the job advertisement. Show how you meet the necessary skills and back these up with an example. Think about you have a structured your CV and highlight key information. Mention any essential job specific requirements if you have. Use your company research to find out key information you can refer to in your application. Keep your LinkedIn profile updated. As your career advances, not all the information you have on your CV and cover letter will be applicable. So. Pick information relevant to each job. When writing your CV, cover letter or thinking of interview answers, use language and keywords used in the job description. Don't plagiarize. Number fifth, appearance. A job interview is the first time a potential employer will meet you. Take a note of it. Research the dress code using the company's website or social media. Present yourself well, but don't go overboard. Be comfortable. If not, you will be more self-conscious. If you are wearing a suit, it is usually best to wear a tie or have one with you. Number six, timing and arrival. Timing is the most important aspect and is one of the easiest thing to get right. Ideally, 15 minutes before, before leaving your home, double check the address. And leave time to check your appearance and personal hygiene before going in. When you arrive at reception, politely let them know you have arrived and make sure you know the name of your contact. Number seven, first impressions always count. The first face-to-face -face impression of you is when you arrive and greet your interviewer. Their initial interactions with you might affect how they perceive the rest of the interview. For example, if you greet them nervously and forget to smile, they might feel that you aren't particularly interested in them. Drink water. Often when we are nervous, we get thirsty. When the interviewer or an assistant comes to receive you, make sure to smile. Stand up, greet them and offer your hand for handshake. When you walk into the room to meet the rest of the interviewers, make sure to smile once again and shake hands only if it is favorable. Number eight, ask the right questions. Asking questions at the end of an interview shows your enthusiasm job interest and whether you paid attention or not prepare ahead of time and tailor your questions to the job you need at least one question and maximum of two or three so be ready with them don't ask about the salary and benefits or about getting time off ask questions that show you are as a colleague and team player or how passionate you are about succeeding at the job increase your rapport with the interviewer and ask about their experiences 
discuss any topical organizational current affairs number 9th references the two or three references you provide matters a prospective employer might contact each one if they are uncertain which candidate should get the job a useful reference may be the tipping point in your favor your referee's opinions are the final steps of the recruitment process and are often a determining factor for your success unless requested it is not required to include references in your cv as your career progresses you will have more people who can provide references it is beneficial to tailor the references you use for each position references can be your boss supervising manager mentor or colleague for early career candidates this might be a difficult but you can include teachers mentors colleagues teachers trainers from your university volunteering or internship positions team lead managers your referee should be willing to provide a positive reference for you you need to be confident they will give you a stellar review if you are unsure about the type of references you will receive you should not use them when the employer asks for your referees provide those who will best speak about your job capability let your referees know that they will be contacted and give them information about the position and organization send them a copy of your cv and highlight any skills relevant to the job that you would particularly like to be highlighted thank your referees with an email or phone call post selection stay in touch with your referees once or twice in a year so that they know what you are doing number 10 thank you and follow up a thank you email serves a few purposes it is polite gesture to thank the interviewer and a subtle reminder of who you are and your interest in the job it might be their last impression of you before they make a decision aim to send it before 24 to 48 hours not beyond your thank you note must be customized for the recipient thank them for the time remind them about your talents and why you are the best fit for that particular job add in some knowledge you learned about the organization during the interview such as a new venture or a skill shortage and how you can contribute positively it is a final sales pitch you make for yourself so keep it short but specific remind them why you should be part of that particular organization so a final summing thought is people are the most significant overhead for any organization there are a lot of jobs out there but equally many applicants to stand out you need to go that extra mile these tips will add to your application help you get hired fast and improve the overall impression you make with a future employer till that time prepare and give your best shot thank you